Goodness gracious. <laughs> I've been out of the loop for a bit. I've been had technical difficulties. I'm here trying to do videos, right? And I, I try to upload one of the video editing software programs on the computer. And I decide to just try to do it on my own, solo joy, right? And next thing you know, I delete everything from the hard drive. Everything. <laughs> like, oh man what a mess so i just been uh, you know I, I i took the computer to the hospital i had to stay over a few days and i didn't recover anything it, it you know the way it works for you folks out there your hard drive never erases information what it does it it just creates a new layer over the hard drive so if stuff's deleted or you think it's deleted, it's still all in there. So everything, any grimy stuff I have on my computer, it's still there, right? <laughs> and it's just that I have to take it to a forensics person. And this was all explained to me by the computer guy. He was so he was like, you know how they drill holes in the movies on the hard drives? They get one of those drills and they drill holes in them. That's what ha that's what they do it because they can't get any of the information. I'm like, ah, ha, 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 now I know. So if I ever want to go ahead and uh, fly the coop, I'll go ahead and uh, if I got some billionaire scam, <laughs> I know what to do, you know. But um, yeah, it's been pretty cool. I mean, it's been pretty calm the last few days. I uh, I had someone actually reach out and it was so funny because this is the one time, you know how I always talk about myself being Spanish and no one thinks I'm Spanish? This is one of those deals where I looked at the pictures of the pe of the person messaging me and I was like, uh, no. <laughs> and I was talking about this with somebody that it, it's crazy the, the amount of, of, of women that use the filters to cover themselves up. Meaning that, you know, obviously filters are done for fun and... I understand that because they'll show a girl with rabbit ears and those you know all this cute stuff that girls like to do that's one thing but when you have another person that every picture they're on is a filter you know that's a red flag anything uh, for me anything that's neck up you know you're not showing any body and, <laughs> and and you have filters on is totally bad stuff and, and this person they're from Colombia they just reached out to me. I guess they liked uh, the pictures they saw from me on social media. And they were just like, hi. But I didn't claim to know any Spanish. <laughs> I was like, uh, uh, I only speak English. <laughs> Even though, oh, my gosh. And then she, would, she <laughs> resorted to just sending images. Send him, she sent me a picture of a dictionary. And, uh, and I was like, I don't know if you're trying to tell me to get on it, but I'm not going to get on it with you. Shit. You go ahead and plenty of fish in the sea for you. <laughs> not, not me. <laughs> you know, not, not fucking me. I tell you that. I was like, I saw that. I was like, eh, no. And then you're from Colombia, too. I'm like, I love Colombia. Love Colombia women. But yeah, you're not my type. And then every picture's a filter. Nah, I'm good. I. I'll let you throw, keep throwing the emojis and stickers and things, and that's the way we'll we'll go ahead and uh, use modern day hieroglyphics because that's what those things are, right? I mean, if you ever think about the Egyptians in those times, how they always had. Remember how you, if you looked at the History Channels or anything, they have all these pictures up on the wall and they, they tell stories. That's how I feel it is now with those uh, emojis and things like that. So I was just like, I just. She sent me a few. I'm like, just liking them. And that's it. I mean, it's, I, you better get on the ball. If you want to, you got to climb that wall. And, and then I was thinking about this, how I'm essentially the Jon Snow of dating in, in dating for myself. Like, that's what I've become. And I was talking to somebody about this, where I, I, the first phase of, of me cleaning house has been mostly saying, okay, categorizing my friends, right? Categorizing family members, categorizing everybody as far as how they should be a priority in my life. That was the first thing. Then the second layer of that has been 
are those people that I engage time with, are they positive or are they draining me? And that's been the phase that I've been now. And I've, and I've realized, you know, that that's what's been going on. I'm in phase two of that, uh, of the whole making myself better. And, and, and I was telling this person, you know, that's what it is with me is that I don't, I don't want to, and I don't think anybody should be uh, obligated to take on any issues that somebody else has. And I know that, and, and we had a little conversation about this and this person was saying, well, if you have a friend, you, you, that's part of the deal. And I say, I understand that. But if your pie chart, if most of the time of our conversations are mostly about you complaining or you draining, then I'm not going to do that because I, I tell my daughter that all the time. Don't sit there and complain. Don't sit there and because it's not doing anybody any good. When you're complaining, guess what? You're draining me and you're not doing anything about it and it's not helping you get any better or, or do anything about the situation. So all around complaining, in my opinion, doesn't do any good unless you're going to take action, unless you're going to take constructive criticism and apply it. And that's what I noticed with a lot of people is that they don't do things like that. So what what I deduce in, in dating in general and just with women in general is I'm not I'm not built for that world of chasing and hunting. It's it's not enjoyable for me whatsoever to do any of that. That's why I always when I talk to somebody I know, uh, I always tell them all the time, I would have been a professional gamer because those guys. You know they're not chasing pussy. <laughs> you know those guys are not doing nothing but just gaming and working on their reaction and their skill set because that's what I did. I mean, if you, I mean, uh, that's what I did in college. I, I, I reflect back on the days in college where I, I would go play basketball, do what I had to do, and then go play video games or hang out with a buddy here and there. But it was mostly gaming while people were out partying and drinking and, and chasing skirts, as my old coach would say. I don't... I, I never did any of that. That wasn't something that interested me. I, I was relatively shy, and I'm not shy now, but I am more reserved about chasing somebody because I'm always cognizant of not rejection, but not coming across as a pervert. I, I was actually reading this article on the New York Post. Check this out about men, the real reason why men send unsolicited dick pics. It, it was fascinating because that's a thing that a lot of guys do. Don't get me wrong. I, I flash, you know, uh, sorry, daughter. I mean, but, you know, like I, during interaction with people, with females, like you definitely, they want to see nudes and you send them. But I don't do that in the beginning. Like I have to at least have had some sort of experience with them and in connection with them. Personally, I would tell my daughter not to do it, you know, because I, as a woman, it's weird because it's a double standard. Like with guys, it's more of a trophy. When, when when a girl sends nudes, they're quick to send it to their men, to their their friends. Unless you're a boyfriend or girlfriend. Like if you're a girl, if, if you're somebody's property, and even then I wouldn't do it because if things end or don't end acrimoniously, then that person is gonna be putting it all out there and calling you out you know because you know how people get about rejection they get really they start going on a war path when if they don't like how things played out with somebody they'll go ahead and put your shit out there i mean that's how certain porn tapes got out there that's how kim kardashian i believe came out to be the start as she is now i think it was like revenge type of stuff put it out leak it out and and let the world and, and shame the person and that's that's what I feel happens. But anyway, but the real reason men send unsolicited penis pics, we determined that men who reported having sent unsolicited dick pics demonstrated higher levels of narcissism and endorsed greater ambivalent and hostile sexism than their non-sending counterparts. Basically, it's just saying that if you're a heterosexual male, that and this is it's crazy because it says that men, 63% or 48% had admitted to promoting their neither nether regions without an invite. Wow. So like half of the guys, and, and listen, I see it in the group chats. I decided to disconnect from group chats for a little bit too. But it was, it, it's, it's very interesting just to see the, the volume of 
of men and how repetitive they get and, and, and the things they do. It's, it's really fascinating for me. And, and I know that I'm not built for that game. And, you know, when it comes to the Jon Snow reference, it's more of Jon Snow never wanted to be king, even though he had every credential that you would want to have in a king. Jon Snow didn't want to have any of it. He just said, you know what? I just want to go live in the north with the wildlings, with the little peasants, and not be bothered, man. I'm, I'm not built for that Game of Thrones. I'm not built for that whole world. And that's how I feel. Like, where I, I it's very evident to me that I'm not built for the game. I'm not built to persuade somebody, to make them come to me and to date. And I think that there's a small percentage of people like me that feel the same way. And there's no right or wrong, but I, I've I've concluded that about myself, that I'm not built for the game of thrones when it comes to dating. And, and I don't want to deal with it. And hence why I'm always going to have these funny stories because I'm never going to play along to whatever it is that the women want they want to be courted they want to be given a presentation of a fantasy or giving them hope and it's something that i i just can't i, I like to be realistic with my approach i i'm not i'm a person that's very open-minded very kind very giving and and very selfless but at the same time i've realized that i'm not built to play those games back and forth i used to but I don't get the enjoyment out of it and it, it's something that reflecting on my life that's where i'm at now i don't want to waste time i don't want to chase somebody and i guess the way i look at it is if if you were to you know and, and i always say this that women have it easier than men when it comes to the dating initially and keeping the relationship keeping faithful i think that's the harder part for men okay once in the relationship i think for women it is easier to stay monogamous and it's easier to kind of because they embrace the family they're, they're just looking for that greater good of just having something to connect with right where men are still struggling with that urge to to want to just kind of taste the rainbow and and it's something that they can compartmentalize but i well i mean i lost my track of mind i was what i was talking about oh hold on let me think here dude i forgot so i'm getting old but but it was all the, the whole dick pics unsolicited and just crazy how, how the game is played out there with, with men. And this is so routine and I see it coming and I just, oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say about the analogy that I was going to use for how the game is played is that the men have to go out there, hunt all day and then bring back the food and see what's good or not. Right. A woman basically just sits there and has the food come to her. She's just sitting there. And then she gets to test it out whether she likes it or not. But as a guy, I have to go out and hunt all day, then bring it back and see if the food works or not. And then, you know, it's one of those deals, man. It's just crazy to me how, like, I just can't put my work, my time and money into somebody that I don't know if it's going to work out or not. That I know they have a lot of options and the game is the game i get it and and i have no problem with it but i think for me it, it is something that people that are steadfast on believing that we're all meant to be with a soulmate that that you're not going to be happy in life without somebody in it i think that's a very subjective thing but i, I have a problem with people that try to push that narrative on me when it's very evident to me that I don't think like most guys do, that I don't play the game like most guys do. I don't care to play the game. And I've, I've realized that I, I've just created my own, my own world and my own comfort level and my own peace. And and I was telling this to somebody about it, that that's kind of where I'm at now in life. I don't, it's not, I don't want to play therapist to everybody. I don't want to have people drain me of my energy where I don't ask people for anything. And you all know that when it comes to dating and relationships, there is an expectation out there for us men anyway that we have to provide and we have to be there readily readily available because if not, you're going to lose that battle with the other guys that are hunting. And I, I'm just not built for it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, if something happens to fall in place, I don't mind making the first move, but it's not something that I'm aggressively looking. I mean, look at me. I don't even go out. 
and I'll close with this is that I, I know that I'm not craving anything because I don't find myself wanting to go out. I don't find myself wanting to meet women and go out and socialize and party and live that life. It's uh, and I'm at 42. So and I've been feeling like this for the last couple of years, basically. So it, it, it's just a weird thing, man. It's, um, you know, I try to I, I've tried it long enough and I know it's not for me. So I, I, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm happy where I'm at and I'm just trying to continue to grow and be better as a person. But when it comes to this game of dating, I mean, it's just definitely not for me. Fight.